In a sold out show, it's the first time Darren Wall's taken the stage since he was shot. Well, and it's only been about three weeks. So three weeks off and we're back into it. He admits he's nervous and excited, still recovering after stopping a gunman at a venue in Idaho. That's when Darren was shot in the leg. We spoke to him just days after it happened. And it's my belief that if he'd entered the, the bar, that he would have used that gun on a lot of people that night. The gunman was arrested by Boise police, and Darren's band Greyhawk is ready to rock again. It just feels like a, a celebration that we're still here, still alive. A celebration that will go down in rock and roll history. It's a wild Mad Max contraption. <laughs> Sitting on this stage is the throne used by a few rock stars who've needed a little help. Right, there's three people that have used this. It's Dave Grohl, Axl Rose from Guns N' Roses, and me. It belongs to Dave Grohl, who rocked out while sitting after breaking his leg during a tour in 2015. Actually, it was Dave's leg was a right leg, so they had it customized for my left leg, too. The power of social media brought the throne to Darren. And I got into the Foo Fighters management, who asked me what was going on. I sent them your news story. Um, they looked at that, they showed it to Dave Grohl, he called me from the MTV VMA Awards and basically said, I'll ship that throne up to you at my expense. Darren says this is a symbol of the rock and roll community coming together. His bandmate Reb Taylor says this is a deserved honor. What he did in Boise was absolutely in character and absolutely an extension of how he lives his life day to day. to try to bring this level of epicness and a, and, a, and a scope to our lyrics and to our presentation. And in a way, this really <laughs> kind of fits in with what we do. In Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.